What's going on guys? Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video. Today I'm going to bring you, bring you guys a right? live comm. Now I might cut a little bit a couple times during the video because if I have to swallow or cough because I am kind of yeah, sick, yeah. that would be my bad. But I am bringing you guys a live comm with using the M8 and this is going to be a good game. You know why? Because I fucking dominate with the M8. You guys already wow. seen some action Jackson from my boy Apathy right here. But what I really want to talk about today is how to find a team. Now this is something I feel like a lot of players struggle with and by a lot of players I probably mean almost every player and I always get people hitting me up like apathy I need help on your team what do I do to find a team like what can I do and it's it's not stop I mean these questions are asked almost every single day so in this video I kind of want to talk about that even though I have talked about this in the previous video my god do I not shut up I just talk 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 but I'm pretty sure you guys don't mind at least I hope you don't because then I'd be very sad and I'm over here trying to stay alive and get shot by 20 people Gonna go out of bounds real quick, come back inbound, it's the type of happy place I do, baby. So one thing what you really want to do when it comes to finding a team is first of all, have a Twitter. Please don't be the motherfucker without a Twitter. That is the last thing you want to do. You want to have a Twitter. Twitter is necessary because you need to interact with other people. You need to communicate with other people. Don't expect to people randomly just know who you are from playing video games. Like obviously, you know, it's gonna help if you're good and stuff like that. But please have a Twitter so you can interact with other players, so you can talk to other players, you know, schedule tryouts. I don't even know how people join teams anymore. Maybe schedule some form of tryout, something like that. Like, please have a Twitter. That is the main way of, of socializing with people. Now, the next thing, and I think this is the most important thing, and I kind of left that out. I should have put the set this first. Is have a, a, a GB and UMT with the eye. Skip the step again. Make sure you are fucking good at the game. Don't expect to have no hand me down. Somebody be like, yeah, team with me apathy. Or, or team with me like, you have to be good individually, please, man. If you think you're highly skilled, then good. But if not, keep fucking practicing. You have to be good individually. Like, I'm being so serious when I say this, and I think this is the most unlooked thing. Is you have to be good at Call of Duty if you want somebody to pick you up. Nobody's gonna pick you up if you suck dick. Nobody. That's the that isn't the way it works. So you wanna make sure this motherfucker just spawn kill me. White ghost three eight six four. Like he thinks he's good or something. But back to the topic. You have to be good, guys. Like I if you think you're not good, make sure you're putting the time. Make sure you're you're investing your time to get better this big game. Because if not, you're not gonna go far. You're not. It's just the way it is. You have to be good individually. You obviously be highly skilled for someone to want to pick you up or play with you or even start on a team. Now, Call of Duty isn't necessarily too hard to shoot. What's going to come down to is individual plays and obviously teamwork. What I mean individual plays, I mean like, like, like situational plays. That's a better word for it. Situational plays. And that's something that comes from playing a lot. The more you play, obviously, the better you're going to get and the, the more and the better you're going to do. So, please be individual. Skill. Now the next thing you want to do is have a GB and a UMG. GB obviously good for GB tournaments. A UMG is obviously good to play, you know, wagers, all the stuff that people play nowadays. So it's very good to have those two. Now the next thing you want to do is you can. If, if, all right, there's two ways to get. Like maybe you look for a team, find a team out there that it isn't too difficult. Is one I don't even know if GB forms exist. Correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments. But if they do, make sure this mother... Oh, that streaks? Out of streaks and I get blown by car. Make sure you go to the GB forums, or at least try to go there. That should work. If it doesn't, then you know what? You're kind of screwed. You're going to have to uh, ask somebody to retweet your tweet or something like that. God damn it! Leave me alone! There's everywhere. Like, how am I supposed to get streaks? So much chaos. So, next thing I do, what I was saying, back to what I was saying, is make sure someone retweets you. And what do I mean by that? Obviously... You know, you don't have the Twitter juice of a lot of people, right? You obviously need some help. There is accounts that retweet stuff for you. There's accounts that help you out. I recommend talking to those people or try to... No, don't kill me, mother... Ah! I was gonna get streaks. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I'm never gonna streak this game. And this motherfucker just comes in. But like I said, like, I know... I don't think you guys all know Optic Scumpy's dad. His name is Sean Abner. He has a Twitter account. He retweets for anyone that needs a retweet. Obviously, he can't do it 24-7. But pretty much all his account is is retweeting people. Retweeting people that need help. Retweeting people that need to find a team. Stuff like that. I really recommend talking to him. You know, make sure he gets those retweets in. And then just also the other Twitter accounts that you can follow. Like, caught with your accounts that have like a thousand followers. But their whole main purpose of their Twitter is just to help you and, and 
help you, you know, get your tweets out. So make sure to follow those guys. Hit those guys up, you know. Ask around for people who know them and stuff like that. Oh my god, this motherfucker does not want to die. Come on, come on. Yeah, you're not better than me, kid. And make sure you hit those people up. And then after that, obviously, it's just, it's just you. Like, finding a team is not the easiest thing. Like, I remember back in the day. Uh, now comes a short story. Cod 4 days. When I, I literally tried to start a competitive at the end of COD 4. If you guys didn't know, COD 4 was obviously a very fun game, but it wasn't the biggest. So pretty much what happened was, I was trying out for a team. Now, the, the way I found this team was GB Forms. You know, they, they said they were trying out players. They pretty much, what they do is kind of like eight. Like, they'll make eight people, random people, play a free, or not play like, like actual like game types competitive game types and then they would they would spectate and then they would see who does good and who does bad it was it was a very good way to come here motherfucker oh my god dude i'm gonna lose the streaks again it was a very good way to see who was good and who wasn't and they were immediately impressed by me so i guess i'm i, I must have been doing something right so i mean that's pretty much what happened one kill from streaks motherfucker i'm gonna this shit don't even play with my feelings like that nice 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 i got a wraith baby all right we're going places pretty sure the hard point goes there oh i put the wraith in the wrong place all right it's good it's good we got wraps i'm gonna I'm carry my team to victory so pretty much what happened was i got i got offered to join right i i mean after after my amazing performance people are like holy shit like this kid's pretty good and that's pretty much how i joined my first gb team from tryout now i don't know if they do anything like that anymore they probably no, and I'm probably gonna die or not. They probably don't do anything like that anymore, which sucks. I'm pretty sure they don't. And I get rock launcher. That's the way I die after going like on a 20 streak. I get rock launcher. So it's obviously a little bit more difficult, I feel like, nowadays. But with Twitter being out there, I mean, it's like difficult, but at the same time, with Twitter, like a way to just communicate with everyone. My god, I am, I am literally killing the whole team over and over again. I have so many streaks rolling in and i don't know how the fuck that didn't kill me or killed him i don't yet like but so that's the biggest thing so when it really comes to it i think the biggest thing is one you have to be individually skilled, skilled. two you obviously have to get your name out there now if you're looking to join a very very good team you know i'm talking about you think you're the best player you think you deserve like a top am team or like a really good amateur team obviously the best way to get your name out there is online tournaments now Online tournament is a good way, a good form of getting your name out there. But if that isn't working out for you, another thing you could do is play local lands. Obviously, local lands can be a little bit hard, but I recommend local lands are like a good way to get your name out there. That's actually how I joined like my first semi-pro team was because I went to a local land that semi-pros went to, and they were kind of like semi-pro slash pros. So that's kind of what happened for me. Oh my God, these fuckers. <laughs> I don't know the fuck that's made noise there, but these kids don't want to stop shooting me. So yes, go to local lands, guys. Make sure you go to some local lands, walk with some commas, you know, do your thing. And that way your name will get out there. It's it's either local lands, online tournaments, or lands tournaments. And this kid's fucking a joke. And that's the best way, guys. Like, I'm giving you the three main ways. And honestly, until you get good individually and start good doing good at those three things, you're not really, it's going to be really difficult to get your name out there. And that is just a... And this kid, that's just the truth. You know, Cass, suck a dick. I'm not gonna say your name. You don't even deserve to be in my video, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Whatever, bro. So, those are the main ways, I think, personally. Now, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a big thing. And please don't lose your name already. Give you guys a big thing. You are gonna have to invest money if you want to get your name out there. You are gonna lose wagers. You are gonna lose online tournaments. You are gonna lose shit. And that's just the way it is. You know, that is the way of the tournament life. Ugh, that is the way of tournament life. You gotta invest that money, guys. It's just the way it is. You know, you have to put in that money. That's the only way you're gonna improve playing these tournaments, and that's the only way you're gonna get your name out there. Unfortunately, you know, it can usually be a, a, a loss, a loss, loss, a lose, lose situation. But it's just the way it is, guys. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this live commentary. Give you guys some tips while dominating in pretty good fashion. Unfortunately, my team couldn't keep up. Like, look at their team. I mean, they did completely shit. I don't even know how the fuck we lost this. But either way, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.